Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started this evening. Um, welcome to um, the second in our education series, Sell Something People Want. Um, basically, today we're going to talk about increasing your whitening revenue today. And I'll just get right into it. One of the things that I've noticed in speaking with dentists across the country is we've got a couple of things that are going on from the dentist's perspective around whitening. We do know that your patients want whitening. It's a billion dollar industry right now, more than a billion dollars actually. And um, But also dentists are not necessarily capturing all that market share. And you would think that patients trust the dentist to go ahead and um, think on their teeth, but there's so many products over the counter that sometimes they're not going to their dentist for this particular item. Um, in a, you know, in the history of whitening, dentists have definitely shied away from whitening because of some patient complaints around sensitivity. And, and many of you have just found that it's not worth the hassle or it's too much hassle to deal with in trying to create good solutions for that. And then also the whitening companies, there, since it's such a huge industry, now we have the same company creating all these different syringes with different percentages and this and that and mostly that's just to create market share again from their perspective and have things for them to sell you more than one item so that you can buy and spend more with their company. But at the end of the day what we do know is that the patient wants white teeth and the dentist wants a satisfied patient with the lowest cost of doing business. So I have seen that most dentists would say that they want more patients and definitely in doing a lot of this research, I'm finding that most dentists are not doing as much whitening as they could. And I would say that all business owners, and specifically dentists, would like to do the cost, the cost of business to be um, favorable to you. So why whiter image? Um, those of you who are clients with us, one of the things that you will know is that our whitening gel annihilates the competition when it comes to sensitivity. Um, our potassium nitrate um, ingredient percentage is 5%. It's the highest in the industry, and it gets some rave results and lots of testimonials around sensitivity. Um, typically, our products are going to come in at 30 to 50% less than what um, dentists are currently spending on whitening products. And then a huge component of what we do well is we have created pro products that are retailable and also promotional to help you generate excitement with your patients, and create revenue opportunities as well. And then the most important thing is that we have put together, your account managers are actually personal marketing consultants, and they're dedicated to your um, practice success. So they are actually thinking about your business with you, helping you come up with strategies to implement better whitening, to implement new patient initiatives or referral programs or anything to help you accelerate what you're doing as a practice. So we care about you using our products, but we know that we can help you do better business by giving you ideas about marketing, using whitening as that tool, and, and helping you save some money with some good products. So there's a lot of statistics around um, people wanting to whiten their teeth right now. And basically, the reason why I put these statistics on here, that we believe this is a social asset, that we believe a smile makes us more attractive, and it interferes with our career success, the reason why those statistics are important to you as a dentist is that because a smile is an emotional thing. We want to have a beautiful smile because it makes us feel better, makes us present better, all of those kinds of things. And that's important because people buy based on emotion. They don't buy based on need necessarily. You know, how many times have you had a patient come into your office that needs, you know, work done on their, their teeth and they choose not to do it even though they need it because Quite frankly, maybe the pain isn't bad enough for them to, to warrant, you know, changing their lifestyle to get it taken care of um, before it becomes a bigger option. It's not necessarily need, it's emotion, what we care about, what we feel good about or not feel good about. Now, what I have seen, as I mentioned earlier, is that, you know, here you have a patient base, everyone wants whitening across the board. If you ask people, do they want a brighter, healthier, youthful looking smile, they'll say yes. But we don't necessarily have protocol for selling that in the office. And if we do, it's kind of haphazard a lot of the times. So why is this the case? Well, partly it's because dentists were pushing back on the whole whitening in the office around the sensitivity issue. Um, a lot of dentists that I've talked to have actually said that they are concerned more that um, they don't think their patients can afford it. And 
then the other thing is really we just don't have a lot of sales strategy put in place in the practice to make this a consistent ongoing revenue stream. So these are some things that we're going to talk about today. There's four factors basically that can impact the whitening revenue in your office. And I'm going to just list them here for you real quick and then we'll go into them in a little bit of detail as we go through here. Mostly, we need to make sure that all whitening options are presented consistently to all patients by all staff. So you need to have some good protocol in place with your staff to be consistent about your presentation. And then you want to make sure that you have the available tools and the available products to create a good healthy revenue stream. You want to make sure that you're staying accountable to the internal process of how this goes. This is how many whitenings we want to do. This is how we're going to capture that market. And this is how we did at the end of the month, or how, this is how we can do things better. So you want to look at all those things. So what does that right whitening protocol look like? You need to be very intentional about presenting it to patients. This is the first tip. Um, and there needs to be a process to follow. So all the staff needs to kind of know what is, this, what is the series of things that we're going to ask. Are we going to ask um, a question to each individual patient that comes in? Uh, what question are we going to ask? When are we going to ask it? All of that kind of stuff. There are some ways that you can kind of highlight for your patient to get them initiated in talking about whitening before you even open your mouth. And one of the things is to keep track of the shades of the teeth in the patient's chart. Just the fact that you're measuring my shade and writing it down in my chart makes me feel like there's a, you know, that there's um it's something important, right? So, oh, I wonder if I'm up to standard on my whitening. It's making me think about it. So it's something you can do. The other thing is you can put questions on your intake questionnaire. And if you are using an intake questionnaire, hopefully there's a place in there where you're listing all of the reasons why that patient is visiting you today, that you have an area there that the patient can check um, white or smile, or that they can check that there's some kind of events coming up in the future that they would like to get um, discuss about their smile and how white it is. You know, the, my favorite thing of, uh, so far in working with practices is to, if every single person at the end of their um, patient visit would say, when was the last time you whitened your teeth? You would be able to present your whitening packages to every single patient. Because if I'm your patient and you say, when was the last time you whitened your teeth? All of a sudden I'm like, well, I've never whitened my teeth. Now the very next thing out of the hygienist's mouth is, okay, well these are the ways that you can do it in our office if you choose to do so. Now if I say I've never, I, I have whitened my teeth, but it was last year, I still, as a hygienist, get to say, well, that's great. If you know when you want to whiten your teeth again, these are the ways that you can do it here in our office. So you get to present whitening to every single patient by asking that question. It's a very non-threatening thing, and. Um, you know, we are thinking about it. Our, your patients are thinking about wider smiles. So you want to have this patient protocol for every single visit. It's very, very important. Now, there's some tools that you can use to make um, whitening kind of be more on the, the buzz of everybody's uh, conversation. We, there's actually a whitening simulator app. If you download it from iTunes, you can actually take a picture of your patient, put it on your iPad, and you can change the shade of their actual teeth in their photo and they can see what impact it's going to have on their smile, which is great. That's a great um, visual, helps with that emotional reason to, to choose. Of course, we talked already about the shade guide. The shade guide is, is an important tool in being able to implement these strategies. You know, something as simple as a mirror. Um, most dentists that I've visited have a mirror of some kind. We're not necessarily using it for um, whitening, though, which is, um, you know, we're missing out. The other thing that we've designed, now this is a whole program that we were kind of launching, and I'm giving you the overview of how to run the program, but when you work with your personal marketing consultant, they actually have all of these things packaged for you so you know what questions to ask and what the protocol is. And We actually have a one sheet, which is basically a marketing piece that you can have out in the office, which speaks to your patients about why they would want to whiten their teeth and what frequently asked questions we have, and it's branded by your practice, so you get in a piece that's going to be able to connect to your patient um, around whitening, uh, so that's all organized for you. The other thing is important to have the whitening menu. When I mentioned earlier, when I said to the patient, when was the last time you whitened your teeth, 
I now want to have a nice, easy menu selection for that patient to look at and say, well, these are the ways that I can whiten my teeth in this office, and I've got an easy way to select and hear about those things. So we have um, an example of a whitening menu that you can use, and uh, we definitely suggest three or four price points to capture all the market share as you can in your office, and I'll go over that in just a second. You also have retailing support with there's posters available, DVDs, table tents, buttons, all sorts of things to help you um, initiate good revenue in the office around whitening. All right, so because our blend, our whitening blend, delivers the results on the whitening, but also really speaks to sensitivity, we recommend that you can offer four different price points in your practice. The first way is with your in-office treatment. So as a patient, I'm getting the in-office treatment, I'm paying about four to $500 for it, but I'm leaving the office today with white teeth. That's a great value proposition. I don't have any delay in my whitening process. For the dentist, the cost of doing that in terms of product cost for us is $45 per patient, and you've got yourself a nice high return on in-office whitening. The second price point down would typically be custom trays and gels. So this is where I'm going to be fitted for my, um, my custom trays in the office by the hygienist or the assistant, and I'm going to leave the office with gel, and the next one to two weeks I'm going to have whiter teeth over that period of time by you know, uh, being compliant at home and doing my, my trays and whitening that way. As a patient, probably I'm going to spend somewhere around two to $300, depending on what your price point is in your part of the uh, country. The cost of actually fulfilling that in terms of product is $15, and um, you know, you've got a nice second price point there. This is where we usually stop, though, and it's very easy for you to offer a third price point, which is a more reasonable way for the patient to whiten their teeth. It's the home edition kit. It doesn't have any chair time whatsoever. It's used with a silicone mouthpiece. You're going to bite into it, wiggle it back and forth, and that creates the tray for you to insert the gel. You get the same kind of whitening gel as you do with the custom trays, so you're going to get white teeth over a couple of weeks. Um, it's just not going to be the easiest vehicle to whiten them with, but it's a lot better and more effective than the things like Crest White Strips and everything else that they're buying at the Walmart and CVS, and you have given it to them, which lends much more credibility to it. Again, the whitening gel is the same as what we're using with the custom trays, so the results are going to be great as long as there's compliance. You know, the kit itself for the dentist, the cost of that is $20. And you can use that as a price point somewhere around $79 to $99. So you've got $400, $200, $79. And then uh, many of you know our to-go pens as well, which is just a brush-on brush application. You can brush it on the face of the teeth. It takes the stains off that come from coffee and red wine. And truthfully, um, these are very easy to sell, especially to every single one of your whitening patients in the office. Because I'll tell you, I just went and got the in-office treatment yesterday and I've been consumed with what's going in my mouth so that I don't white or don't dull the, the, the white teeth that I just got after that process. It's very easy to sell a patient a to-go pen now that it, you're just basically saying now that your teeth are whitened, you're going to realize that coffee and red wine, soda, these things are going to dull the surface of the teeth and possibly stain the front of the teeth. But if you brush this application on and just leave it in your mouth for a moment, you don't even have to rinse it out and that'll take the stain off right then and there, and you won't have to worry about it impacting your smile. So here's the products that um, solve those different price points that some of you have seen already, the two-patient kit. This is going to be the 35% hydrogen peroxide. It has the 5% potassium nitrate in there as well. Um, it's got two patients per kit. It works with or without a light, although many of you are using it with the light. It's going to be $90 for the kit, so $45 per patient. Your custom trays, you're going to have your take-home solution, which has the carrier for the trays and the four-pack of syringes. That's um, $15 for you. We do um, just four packs of syringes that you can add to that package for your patient or have them come back and purchase them at a later time if they want to continue the whitening. Um, your cost on that is $11.80. And then we're the only company that does single wrap syringes that are just you know nice and hygienically um, wrapped, and you can do those one at a time. Some of you use those during your profi appointments to give away to um, custom tray clients. Uh, it makes it so you don't have to break up a, a four-pack for whatever you need it for. Now, the Home Edition Kit is what I was talking to you about with the silicone mouthpiece. 
Um, it's the you're going to make your own impression. It comes with the tray case as well as the syringes. We use this product not only as a, the third price point in, in terms of selling in the office, but we also use this a lot in our promotional um, programs where we're saying um, give away whitening to your new patient opportunities with your new patient ads. This is the product that we would use to fulfill that because it doesn't require any chair time and it's a very easy um, accessible product. It costs you only $20 and you can retail it for $49 to $99, but here's the thing that I'd rather do. I'd rather leverage this particular product into a new patient for you and help you earn four or $500 in revenue from a new patient. And there's the pens. Uh, many of you, are, like I said, are familiar with those. Um, as I mentioned, if you're selling that on the way out with the fear of losing that white smile, this is a very, very easy add-on for $20. Bucks. It's not a big deal, and uh, people get motivated by that. We do have the mini pen as well. We use this a lot for promotion. I wanted to include it in here because it is part of our whitening campaign. Um, it's usually a giveaway thing where you privately label them. So you're going to stick a little sticker on there that has your practice name, your phone number, your website. And if you've been on some of the other seminars, you know that we're, we're calling this the new business card. We also use it as a Facebook like pen. And we can talk to you about marketing initiatives around that. It's a very, very good promotional um, tool for sure. So the other portion of this is you need to track and reward your pro your progress, okay? So you've got your protocol in place, then you've got the right tools that you need, the right products that you need, and now you need to um, track your progress and set yourself up. So there's a lot of offices that will actually use incentives to reward the staff when they sell whitening, especially when a program is getting kicked off. There's um, no reason why you can't do that. Uh, some of you are set up just business structure-wise to do that. Um, but the thing is, your, your team's going to pay attention to things that make them money. And as long as what makes them money makes you money, that's, you know, a good um, transaction for you. Make sure, too, that you're setting up um, monthly goals as a staff. And we can help you kind of determine what those goals should be based on your patient traffic and the percentage that we see um, of patients choosing one of these uh, revenue or one of these whitening options. We have good metrics on that about kind of gauging how many you can expect based on um, using this kind of a program. We usually see if you present it to every single patient, we'll see about 30% of your people are going to choose something. They might not, no, I'm not saying 30% of the people that you present it to are going to do in office, but they will choose one of the four, 30% of them. That's an easy number to work off. And then we kind of break it down from there, which ones, what percentage will choose in office, what percentage will choose custom trays, that kind of thing. So we can help you with that. And make sure you're using your production meetings and your staff meetings to go over how you can do this well. We actually send you the scripts that you need to be able to present these different products, to be able to get patients to get excited about them. Um, we help you with all of that, and you can definitely go that over that in your in staff meetings and make sure that you're staying on target. So at, at the end of the day, we need to talk about sensitivity. As I've mentioned a few times through this presentation, sensitivity is a factor for your patients. It's always going to be a factor just based around what the process of, that goes the teeth go through to get the whitening. Um, I do know that we are very, very specific about creating materials that reduce sensitivity. We do that through having the highest percentage of potassium nitrate in our gels so that we reduce that. The other thing that we do is we have an, kind of an add-on piece which, with the Remy paste which definitely helps reduce the sensitivity after the procedures and ongoing after the procedures. So you can use that as well. But the idea is to definitely set clear expectations for your patients around sensitivity. If you can coach your patients on the possible things that could happen, and you know, all of us have different levels of sensitivity. Um, as I mentioned, I did get the process done yesterday. And um, I was warned about things like zingers could possibly happen. And I have to tell you, I, I have not really experienced a lot of sensitivity at all. I, they feel a little strange today, but it, it's not in any kind of hurting way, which is nice. But what a dentist that um, was explaining to me how they coach around sensitivity, the thing is if we know we're going to have maybe a little discomfort and it's not going to last for more than 24 hours and it's a hit or miss thing, you might have it, you might not, when I do get a good result with the dentist, when I don't have any sensitivity, it looks like the dentist has done an exceptional job on my behalf because I didn't have any sensitivity. 
And if I do experience some kind of sensitivity with a zinger or anything else, you know, I'm willing to accept that as part of the, the process in, in helping myself look better. We do it for a lot of other cosmetic procedures, certainly, um, you know, dyeing our hair and getting plastic surgery. We're willing to go through some discomfort to look better. Um, as long as we know what the scope of that discomfort is and that's honest and, and you know, fairly dealt to me, I'm, I'm easy about making that decision. And as I said, when you don't experience any sensitivity issues, you know, it looks like you've given a wonderful quality service. So make sure you're taking an intentional approach about building the practice business for whitening. Um, be consistent about the way you present it. And um, make sure you're taking advantage of all the available tools and products so that you can have a nice, healthy revenue stream. And make sure that you have accountability to that process. And as I mentioned to you, we do have this put together for you. Your personal marketing consultant is your best tool in the toolbox to help you get these things done. We do not believe at Wetter Image that we're here to just sell you products and that's it. We would rather sell you a strategy, match your products to it, and help you build your business through that strategy. You're going to get everything that you need in the package, and I've alluded to some of it today on the call. This is a great overview for what the package has too, but you're going to get everything in there. Um, the profile, the growth proposal, helpful hints, things that you need to know for sure, any messaging that you need. <clears throat> advertising possibly, a checklist, how to deliver this whole thing, soup to nuts. We've also gotten on conference calls with your staff and trained your staff online if we need to. Um, definitely rally the staff around a certain campaign that might be launching. We do this all the time and we do it um, effectively for dentists across the country and so there's no reason why you can't be one of those dentists. Today we are actually, uh, you might have seen come out through our effects, we're going to highlight the home edition kits um, as that third price point for all of you. Uh, we've reduced the price here over the next, um, well, this was from the last week's seminar, so the expiry is not 420, but it's going to be $18 through the end of the week instead of 20. Um, you do have to do a minimum order of 36, which is easy to do, uh, and uh, you can get yourself a nice reduced rate. So at least if you're going to launch this in your kind of making sure that you don't want to spend too much money, this is a good way for you to save some money right off the top. <clears throat> so the best idea is for you to go ahead and give your marketing consultant a call. Um, we do have all of this in deliverable materials so that you can read through and find out what you need to do. We step you through this process um, a piece at a time so we can set this up very accurately for you. We do return on investment and a P&L report even for you, so it's very easy for you to see what money you're spending and how you're going to make money from doing that. So it's a, it's a great program and I would encourage you to go ahead and reach out to your personal marketing consultant. And I'm happy to stay on the line. I know there's just a few of you on, but if you have any questions, be feel free to type it in the questions box. I will stay on the call just for a minute here. If any questions do arise, um, I'd be happy to answer them.